Hey everyone, it's Kelsey. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be tier ranking Marvel projects like the MCU. Um, purely because I love to tier rank. I just have so much fun ranking things. I just, I love doing it. So I kind of felt like doing it again. Um, I did not make this tier ranker, but I did rename the rows because they didn't have any names. It's very self-explanatory. The best is 10 out of 10 amazing. And then obviously the worst is didn't like, but then I had to have a column on the bottom that says haven't seen because there is like one or two things I haven't seen. The first one is Civil War, which goes straight up into 10 out of 10 amazing. That is like, it's so hard to pick a favorite, but it's like my favorite Marvel movie. Like ever. I own it on Amazon Prime and I rewatch it literally all the time. Like I don't know why it's like so comforting to me. I remember when this came out I like counted down until the trailer released and that trailer was so awesome with a like United We Stand music. Oh I can still remember it just like clear in my head. Like I still I can still see it. Oh it's just so special to me and I also just think it's a really well done movie. I think they introduced the characters really well. They used everyone's different abilities really well. I didn't feel like an overwhelming like introduction and it easily could have with the amount of characters that were in there but they all felt like they needed to be there like there wasn't anyone that felt like unnecessary then the first avengers movie goes into loved i love the avengers obviously i love both the movies it's just a classic like you just can't you can't argue with that it's like a it's the og team i really miss the beginning phases of marvel honestly like of the mcu and then kind of on the same vein age of ultron age of ultron i think deserves to be in that category because i think again it's a really well done movie it's hovering between loved and amazing for me but i think i'm gonna put it in amazing i think it's like a, just a nice continuation of the avengers saga it's cute to see them like as like a little family like i live for that scene where they're all trying to pick the hammer up like i just think the like the family banter they have like i just love how they started playing on that like you know kind of like found family like trope like it just it it's so good it just i i really do and that's that's why i love that movie it's because of the kind of the scenes like that that we get of them i feel like it's like kind of one of the last times we see them happy Ooh, avengers of infinity war that goes into 10 out of 10 amazing because that is an amazing movie so well done had the theater sat everybody gasped i think it's better than endgame like obviously the ending is so sad like duh but the impact that movie had on just like the public i feel like cannot be overstated theater was crowded it was like it was an event and it was a <clears throat> an event that was like 10 years in the making and yeah endgame wrapped it up but i have so many issues with endgame as a movie but i don't really have any issues with infinity war i think it was so beautifully done and i loved it and it's just that movie just feels epic it feels like it's on a whole nother scale like that i think that that movie was great which is one of the reasons why endgame is so disappointing because Infinity War was so amazing. We were talking about Endgame and that's the last one. And I actually think, I see the thing about this one is I'm, it's hovering between okay, I guess, and didn't like, because I wanna make it clear and say that there are some scenes in Endgame that I think are really good. Spoiler warning inactive. I think, you know, Captain America picking up the hammer, that whole fight sequence is really good like Wanda almost beating Thanos, the on your left when they all come back, like that whole scene is really good. And there were some funny moments, but I, I don't like using time travel as a an ending. Like I feel like that's a cop out, having time travel be the solution. Cause then why wouldn't you just travel back in time and fix everything? You know, I just don't like that. I don't like using time travel as a solution. I think it's kind of lazy writing, I'm so sorry. Also, I get that they had to kill Iron Man and it makes me upset, but I think if they if they were gonna kill Iron Man, they shouldn't have killed Black Widow and like Captain America. Like you, you can't kill all three, you know, you have to pick one. That's already half of the original Avengers. And I think that's why the MCU has lost that kind of family aspect that it used to have. And that's why it's not as good anymore is because like those were kind of the pillars of the original team. And I would argue those three really were the pillars. And if you take those all away, then it's like, what do you have? So that's why I actually put an in didn't like because of the issues I have with it as a project, I think outweigh the few scenes that I was like, oh, that's, that's a decent scene. Overall, I don't like it. I think it was a lazy ending. The first Guardians of the Galaxy movie going into 
decent slash liked enough. It's a good movie. I enjoyed it. Guardians isn't my favorite thing. Like I enjoy watching it, but it's not like on the love tier where like I don't like rewatch it, you know? Same with Guardians Volume 2. Like again, I just don't tend to rewatch those movies, so you know, that's where that goes. The first Ant-Man movie goes in okay, I guess. I have seen it, but I don't remember that much about it. I don't think I've seen Ant-Man and the Wasp. I don't think I have. I can't remember, so it's going in I haven't seen. The first Doctor Strange movie is going in liked, but it's going higher because it, it hovers in the loved category. But it, it's not on the same level for me as Avengers, you know what I mean? Like, I like it, but I, again, I don't rewatch it as much as I rewatch other movies in the MCU, so. The first Iron Man movie, that goes in loved. That's just a great movie. It's a really solid movie. I feel like it needs no explanation. It's the opening of everything. Spider-Man Homecoming, the first one. Honestly, I love Spider-Man, so that's like all going in loved. So far, same with Far From Home. However, Spider-Man No Way Home is immediately going into 10 out of 10 amazing. That is genuinely one of the best movies of all time and it's even going past infinity war just the again spoilers but just the addition of the other spider spider mans and the villains and just the multiverse it's just that oh my god that movie is just so freaking good and like daredevil being in it like you just can't beat it you just can't beat it like it's just such a wonderful nod to spider-man fans and fans of like the past movies and even like the comics and it's like just so fun to see all those characters together and just having all three spider-mans on screen together was just magic like you really one of the greatest movies like ever in my opinion black panther such a good movie going into loved such a good movie such a good movie like i i can't even say anything else about it because it's just so good and i do like to rewatch that one a lot Captain Marvel, I'm, it's going in okay, I guess, because I watched it like once and I was fine. I've never felt the need to rewatch it. It was just like meh for me, like, you know, I was just like, eh, it was fine. Black Widow is going into Loved. That is a great movie. Like genuinely such a good movie. I don't know. I really liked it. I know people had issues with it, but I just, I like when they tell little spinoff stories like that if they do it in the right way. And I also love Yelena, so the introduction of her as a character, top tier. Sang Chi or Sung Chi, I feel like I always say it wrong. Um, who, I mean, it's hovering between decent enough and loved. I think decent enough to be because I don't rewatch it. Eternals didn't like one of the worst movies I have ever seen, so terribly done hated it we'll never watch it again like so bad it was and i don't understand how people can like it i think people just like the cast like because they're so star studded but it's just there's so much wrong with it there's too many characters they don't introduce them right you don't care about any of them the way they could have made you care was to introduce them all and make them kind of like a little family and it's like you think they're gonna do that and then they don't and they kind of like ruin it like i just it's a no for me i don't like it I don't even like the concept. It doesn't feel like it should be part of the MCU. I know there's comics, I get it, but I just don't like it. Totally not my thing, I'm not about it. So. WandaVision, 10 out of 10, amazing. Oh my God, I love WandaVision. I can't get it where I want it. It's just the greatest Marvel show of all time. And if you disagree with me, you can argue with the wall because it was revolutionary and it's so freaking good so good it was a perfect show for them to start with the perfect show they'll just never do anything like that again for me like that was just it was an event it was a time oh my god it was so freaking good and then having evan peters come in so good falcon in the winter Soul. and that's going up into love i love falcon and i love bucky so it was like i'm not surprised i enjoyed it i love how much they hate the new captain america dude <laughs> and how mean they are to him and i loved zemo in that too like i gotta say like having him back was so fun like it really did feel like a captain america like movie almost without having captain america so as much as I hate what they did with Captain America's character, because I do, and I think it was out of character, and I just think he never would have done that. Like, it just didn't make any sense. Um, I think the series was really well done. So if I if I put my anger towards the endgame decision, 
aside, then it's a really great series. So, all right, Iron Man two. I'm going. That's going into like decent enough because I don't watch the Iron Man movies and as much. I know that's shocking. I probably watched the first one the most, and I remember I really liked the second one and it was good. But I haven't rewatched it in such a long time that I feel like I can't put it in loved. If that makes sense. Loki series didn't like didn't like it so much I didn't even finish it like but still not as bad as Eternals yeah I just I did I finish it I feel like I had an episode left I don't even remember where I left off I didn't like it sorry I liked the first two episodes because I liked seeing Owen Wilson and I thought that was fun but after that it just kind of lost the plot for me um and then what if I actually haven't seen what if I know kind of horrible then the Hawkeye show is going into amazing I loved the Hawkeye show. I thought it was so good, so cute. Clint and Kate, they have such a funny relationship and like repertoire. And I know in the comics they like get together and she's older, but I actually really like the way they did it in the show. Um, that it's almost more of like a mentor, like father-daughter relationship. Like I thought that was, I liked the way they did that more. And then obviously Yelena is in the show and her and Kate's little like back and forth kind of so good like they all those characters just played off each other so well and the scene of Yelena like confronting Clint and then like crying about Natasha is like makes me cry every single time it's so beautifully done um and then also Kingpin fucking awesome Moon Knight oh another one so good that it's got to go straight up into loved and the reason that it's not going into 10 out of 10 amazing is because i haven't rewatched it so i feel like the 10 out of 10 amazing has to be reserved for things i've rewatched multiple times and i have not rewatched moon knight yet i want to but oh my god moon knight is so ridiculously good oscar isaac is a talent i just love him and i hope they make a season two i think they are just it's amazing it's just so good iron man 3 i do not remember Iron Man 3. I know I've seen it. I don't really remember it that much. That's why it's going in okay, I guess. The OG Hulk movie, I don't think I've seen. And there's arguments about whether it's canon or not. Um, I have seen the show though, from the 80s. Very good. But it has nothing to do with the MCU, but it's very good. Thor, the first Thor movie is going in love. That is such a good movie. Oh my god, it's such a good movie. Thor the Dark World? I don't think I've seen that, and if I have, I don't remember. Thor Ragnarok? That is a good movie. That is a pretty good movie. It's going in liked decent enough. The first Captain America movie? Oh, that's going in loved. Oh, it's so good. I love the first Captain America movie. The only reason it's not going in 10 out of 10 amazing is because I don't rewatch it as much as Civil War and The Winter Soldier. The Winter Soldier is going straight up into loved. That is one of the best Marvel movies ever. And actually, that is not an unpopular opinion. A lot of people would agree with me on that. It's almost like a horror action movie. Like, The Winter Soldier is such a scary villain. His little theme song is iconic. Like, and then the drama of it being Bucky and that whole thing, and then the Hydra of it all. I think there's something to be said for the simplicity of the Captain America trilogy being more focused on, like, fighting actual people and governments than aliens and magical powers and I think that is what a lot of people really liked about it because I think the MCU, ha MCU has now gotten to a place where there's almost like too much other world stuff there's like too much like time travel and magic and aliens and I know the comics are like that but I think the Captain America trilogy was nice because it was so rooted in just like people and like just America like humans, normal people. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Ugh, straight up to 10 out of 10 amazing. Really all you need to know about me is that I love anything that has Wanda in it. Anything that has to do with Wanda and the Scarlet Witch, I am about it. So that was a great movie for me. I also think it was very well done and I liked the stylistic change that they did, like how it was more of kind of like a horror thing and I also like how obviously it's called the multiverse of madness but I like how they showed more of the multiverse and leaned more into it and like explored the idea of like different universes and like the characters we know in different universes. Miss Marvel this series that was really good that's going up to loved I really enjoyed it. Thor Love and Thunder have not seen. Um, She-Hulk I loved 
was so funny. A lot of people didn't like it because they didn't like the kind of like slapsticky humor, but like that's the way it was supposed to be. So it's like, that's what I expected. I thought it was good and well done and it was funny and it was a nice break from like more serious things. Werewolf by Night, I have not seen, but I really want to. Same with Wakanda Forever. I just, I couldn't watch it after Chadwick Boseman died. May he rest in peace. I was just too sad. And now I don't have Disney Plus anymore, so that's why I still haven't watched it. Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special, I loved. It was hilarious, it was cute, it had all the Christmassy vibes, but then it also had like some really heartwarming scenes in it. I really liked it. I watched it like three times when it came out, so I really enjoyed it. Ant-Man, Quantumania, I have not seen. I really want to see it because I love Katherine Newton. Um, I've been a fan of her since The Society, and I pretty much like everything she's in that I've seen, so... I'll watch anything she's in, honestly. Um, so I really do want to see that one. But so those are my final rankings. I hope you enjoyed my rankings. Let me know in the comments down below which ones you agree with, which ones you don't. Let me know what your favorite Marvel project is, what your least favorite one is. I want all the opinions. Let me know if you were Team Cap or Team Iron Man. That tells me a lot about you, I feel like. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe for more content. It really does help my channel out a lot. And I will see you guys on Friday with another video. Later Gators, bye.